breaking news uh, concerning the escaped terror suspect. We have just received an update. The first confirmed sighting by a member of the public about a mile from the prison in London, Wandsworth Prison, coming out from under the lorry. This was on Wednesday morning. A second development, the Met Police are offering £20,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. Right, uh, let's get straight uh, to uh, the very latest. Our correspondent Helen Wilkinson spoke to Commander Dominic Murphy, the head of uh, the Met's Counterterrorism Command. Uh, before we do anything else, let's listen to a bit of that. Yes, there are two significant updates today. Uh, so I'm pleased to say that thanks to the support of the media and the public, uh, we've had a confirmed sighting of Daniel Khalif uh, coming out from underneath the lorry near Wandsworth Roundabout. So that's Trinity Road as it goes into Swandham Way. Uh, Daniel was spotted then walking towards Wandsworth Town Centre along uh, Swandham Way. And where has that come from, that information? So that is a call directly from a member of the public thanks to the appeal work that we've been doing with, with the media. So, so that just to be clear, this member of the public saw him getting out from under the lorry yes. and then walking along? Yes. Uh, do you think at this stage that he might have gone across uh, the common? Is that the route that he took? Have you got any other idea as to where he was? Well, he was gone? walking towards the town centre when he was last seen. So, as you can imagine, we're treating that as a significant development in the investigation. And we're continuing to focus our effort in London, but we will also look at other parts of the UK as the investigation develops today. So our viewers get an understanding, lots of people are, are what will be watching this, not knowing the geography of the area. Can you give us an idea of how close it is to, the, to Wandsworth Prison and, and how long it would have taken for the lorry to get to that point where he was seen getting off? So in terms of the distance from the prison, it's probably just over a mile from the prison. And it is within the route that we described yesterday uh, in, in our appeal to the public. Um, and we're looking to do some further work now in that area to ensure that we've got as much information for the public as possible to help focus our effort towards Wandsworth Town Centre. How significant is this development, first confirmed sighting? The first confirmed sighting is always very significant. It helps us now to build a picture of where Daniel uh, Khalif may have travelled after, after this sighting. Uh, we, we've got a lot of officers and staff now working through some of that and we're still dealing with lots of calls from the member of the from members of the public. Over 100 calls so far, so we're really grateful to the public support so far. And tell, tell us about so tell us a bit more about the reward you're offering and what has prompted that. Is it because uh, you know we are hours now, over 50 hours or so since he escaped? Um, is that why you put out this reward? It's, it's really important for us to continue to build some impetus around trying to find Daniel Khalif, and so as a result of that. I am pleased to say that we're offering today up to £20,000 reward uh, for information that leads directly to the arrest of Daniel so that we can put him back into prison. So, significant uh, developments there. Let's cross to our correspondent, Helena Wilkinson, who uh, you heard there asking the questions. Helena, uh, just bring us right up to date with what stood out uh, to you there as the significant updates. Yes, Lewis, uh, we are, what, 57 hours or so since uh, Daniel Khalif made that audacious escape from Wandsworth Prison in South London on Wednesday morning, uh, strapping himself to the underneath of that uh, food delivery van uh, and escaping. And uh, police since then, detectives, have been putting out various appeals to obviously try and get more information as to the route he took and ultimately, of course, to try to catch him, to get him back into prison. Um, in terms of that interview, the a bit of a snippet of the interview we just did uh, with Commander Dominic Murphy, he leads the Met's Counterterrorism Command. Um, clearly, two things stood out there. Firstly, a sighting by a member of the public. So this is the first time that the Met Police have said they are have received information from a member of the public who said they saw a man fitting Daniel Khalif's description, walking away from a big food van. So that's a van, uh, the van, the food delivery van that he strapped himself to underneath that had stopped near the south entrance to the Wandsworth roundabout at the top of Trinity Road shortly after his escape. And you heard the commander there saying uh, it's not too far. That location 
is not too far away from Wandsworth Prison. So uh, the commander describing this as a significant development in uh, this investigation to try to track down Daniel Khalif. As well as that, the other significant uh, a development, if you like, in this that we heard from the commander was that they are now offering a reward of £20,000. Now, that reward has been offered for information that leads to the arrest of Daniel Khalif uh, uh, as detectives, as I say, uh, continue to follow up that sighting from a member of the public. So some significant developments uh, from uh, Scotland Yard here this afternoon. Uh, Helena, thank you so much for that update. Really appreciate it. So our first significant update, we'll be back with Helena a little bit later.